Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Blessing. Happy New Year to you all. If you are joining us for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Please subscribe, hit on the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell down below so that whenever I upload any video, you will be notified. This is the channel where I share a sewing tutorial and a pattern drafting. So guys, in today's tutorial, I will be, learning, I will be teaching us how to draft a basic skirt. Yes. So these are the measurements I need for this skirt and my my pattern paper as well. So I will just go ahead to rule my starting point. That is how I normally do mine, and and that will serve as my shoe, my skirt, my waistline. Then I will I will extend to my hip measurement from my waist to my hip. If you are a plus size, you can use 9. Or if you are medium, you can use 8. As for me, I used 8 inches. I'm not that fat. So, from then, I will just want to add to mark my full length. My skirt length, which is 24. Then, I had added 2 inches to it as my hemming allowance. Then, I will just go ahead to rule all this line up. So guys, I will just go ahead to label there my waistline, my hip line, and my full length, okay? So all my hemi line, anyone you call it. So now, the first thing I will be doing here is that at the waistline, I will just come in to take my dart and I will divide my nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple measurement is... 30 inches, eh, sorry to say, 7 inches, but when I divide that by 2, I will have 3.5 inches, okay? So, on that 3.5 inches that I marked, I will bring down my leg, my, that leg to be 5 inches. I will make sure I crochet if it's 3.5 at the down part, just where you see me mark. So, I will use a straight ruler to just rule these lines up. And that will be my dart leg, okay? So, guys, after reeling, I will place, I will just mark 0 0.5 inches on both sides. So, then I will connect it to the dart leg, just the way you see me doing. So guys, after connecting it, it will look something like this. Then the next thing I will be doing here is just to take my measurement. I will divide my waist circumference by four. Then I will mark what I have. Then I will replace the that intake that I took. I will replace it there. And I will mark it and I will add my seam allowance to it as well. So I will come over to the hip measurement and divide my hip circumference by 4. Then I will add my seam allowance as well. So for the hem part, I will just measure what I have on the hip. Then the dots 1.5 inches from it. To have my hem part, my my hem parts. I don't know if you understand. Just look at me as you understand what I'm saying. I will minus 1.5 inches for my total hip measurement. The hip measurement plus the allowance. Okay. Then I will now minus 1.5 inches to get the damp parts. Okay. So guys, after connecting like so, I will just go ahead to connect the lines together. So guys, after that, I will just go ahead to cut off this pattern. So guys, after cutting, for the center front at the back, at the front, sorry, I will come down by one inches, okay? One inches like so. Then I will connect it to meet the the measurement, not the 
allowance, the rim measurement. You remember my waist measurement is 29 inches. Uh, my 13 inches there, when I divide, I have 7.5. Is that the same 7.5 inches that I will connect this one inches that I marked down that? I will connect it to meet, okay? So then, after connecting, I will just cut off that part. So guys, after cutting, this is how it, look, it will look like. So guys, the next thing I will be doing here is, I will just take the dart apart and notch it, so that when I cut my fabric, I will know where the dart will be, okay? So basically, we are done for the front, so we can move to the back, okay? So guys, this is a fresh pattern paper, so I will just go ahead to move my starting point, just go with it at the front part, okay? I will roll it up and that will serve as my waist line, okay? So I will just mark what's my where my zip will accommodate and i will just go ahead to mark 2.5 inches for my zipper allowance so i will mark it from there to the hem parts so guys after that i will just go ahead to mark my hip line my waist to my hip and to the full length as well then after marking i will just go ahead to roll them up So guys, after reeling, I will just, the next thing I will be doing here is for me to take my darts, okay? So remember we, we, we will divide our bus measurement, bus band, it gave us 3.5, so I will do the same thing. For the dark leg, I will just come down by 6 inches at the back, so I will just cross check if my 3.5 inches is intact. So after that, I will just throw this dark leg together, then I will... Mark five zero point five inches on both sides. So after marking, I will just connect to the dart leg. So guys, after connecting, this is how it it will look like. Then the next thing is to take my measurements. I will divide my waist measurement by four, then mark what I have there and replace my dart intake. Then I will just replace it plus my one inches in allowance. Then I will just mark it there. I will come over to the waist measurement, uh, to the hip measurement, sorry. Then I will do the same thing as well. Just like the way we did at the front, I will just minus 1.5 inches from the normal waist hip line and I will mark what I have on the hem part. Then after that, I will just go ahead to connect these lines together. So guys, after connecting, I will just move over to the zipper allowance. So from the the measurement we took, the 25 inches, I will come up by 6, not the allowance. I will start my measurement from the original measurement, which is the 24. I will come up by 6 inches and I will roll it up like so. And that will serve as the slit at the back. Why for the zipper, where the zipper will be, where I will sew my zip on, I will mark 1 inches like so, just where you see me do it. I will mark one inches to the parts that we, the sleeve will end, the slit we start from. So I will rule up the 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 dot I marked, that one inches for the zipper where we accommodate the zipper. I don't know if you understand. That part that I'm ruling right now is where I will fix my zip to. So the other part now I will just go ahead to write it there zip that is where i will put my zip why the down part is where i will fold to have my slits okay so if you don't understand you can stay 
comment on the comment section ask me question and we'll be there to reply all your question okay so guys after that i will just go ahead to cut off this pattern so guys i will just go ahead to cut out that part the remaining part that we don't need anymore i will just cut it off so after i will just cut it to to the end of where the slits will start from just the way you see me doing okay so that part we don't need it anymore okay we just cut it off so that is the other part that the zip will be and i will fold the other parts to the sleeve to the slits okay so guys the next thing i will be doing here is to fold the zipper allowance and notch then i will do the same before then i will cut out the excess that is that we marked that excess that at, at the top i will cut it off then before i will notch the zipper allowance then notch my that allowance as well so guys basically this pattern is ready this is how it looks like at the back so guys if you learned one or two things from this video this is the thumbs up please if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to my channel i will be very very happy okay so guys thanks for watching i appreciate your time and i appreciate you guys so guys this is the end of this video and turn on the notification bell if you want to see more of my video okay subscribe as well all right guys bye see you in my next video